Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. So welcome to week 23. Yeah, 23, that's it. Uh, so here we are and uh, we're back at it again, aren't we? The weather's getting better, okay? Yes, yes. Uh, it's supposed to be summer this week, so yeah. it's good, will help us, especially because the boat yard is very flooded, so... Terribly flooded, yep, yeah. very muddy. Um, so this week we're going to be uh, finishing off the uh, saloon on the starboard side. We didn't quite get there last week and putting a cabinet in on the port side. We also realised over the weekend we had to put in uh, a skin fitting for the bilge pump, which we'd forgotten. And then we're moving on into the forward heads, Bath bathroom heads, yeah. yeah. So let's see how we get on. Yeah. This drill's so much better. That was the second hole. It's not starting very well. It's Monday morning. Simon broke some uh, broke uh, this tool there outside trying to make the hole. It's uh, very difficult always. Um, I cut myself. Uh, put the pipe on, had to heat it up uh, to bend it and get it on, but uh, that's looking good. So that's the bilge pump, electric bilge pump. For the rest of the day, we spend our time working on the side panels of the saloon. The oak veneered plywood eventually arrived just before Christmas, and this is our first opportunity to see this area finished.
By lunchtime on the second day, the panelling is finished and we've even got the flooring. So today we're starting to the work on the bathroom, front bathroom. Uh, we have uh, four days to finish this. And I'm going to start to put the pipe that goes from here to the pump there. It's a very, very uh, nasty pipe to work with because it's very hard. It doesn't really fold or easy to maneuver. I think the first thing I have to do is cut the right size because this is really can't work with all these on my side so I need to try to find out um, how much do I need to go over there and cut the right size on the pipe. So this is a swan neck fitting and uh, the cables going up the mask up here so that includes the uh, navigation lights, the anchor light and the steaming light. So I need to put that into the deck. That's the first hole I've got to cut today. In total I've got to cut five today, including two uh, through holes, for one for the sink, one for the shower, uh, a breather tube and a filler cap or uh, exhaust pack cap for the um, sewage, sewage, sewage tank, you know, the uh, suck it out tank. So here we go, number one. So I've just drilled a pilot hole and here we go. So I am putting two Jubilee clips because Simon is panicking about anything leaking, leaking on the boat. So we're just making sure we have enough Jubilee clips everywhere and they are very, very tight. After I tie this up, I ask him to come and check because I don't want to have the responsibility of something leaking. Wooden beam. So that seemed to have got rid of it quite easily, to be honest. Okay, vacuum cleaners next. Having put the cables through the swan neck fitting, we can now clad the bathroom seat. The ceiling has two LED lights and an extractor fan run off solar panel. Uh, we're building a shelf uh, to put the holding tank for this toilet in. And uh, that's the first part of the bathroom really, is getting that in sorted. So this is the shelf. That's the first time for you because I have been working in that for I've been in there, in there for hours, putting pipes in there, I know, I know. I think we did very, very well today. We did the, so, so much. Uh, we even put the ceiling up on the bathroom, plus all the holes connecting the, the, the pumps and all the holes outside Simon is doing. She's still doing another one. So I think it was a great day, really good day. So I'm going to start uh, lining up these uh, walls with uh, the, that stuff we have, which is really, really good. Um, Simon is going to do some more holes. <laughs> He's always doing holes outside on the boat. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. The 
barge will have two holding tanks, one for each of the bathrooms. The normal way to install the tanks is to have the poop coming up a pipe to the holding tank. There is a wire valve in the pipe that diverts the poop to a seacock and out to the ocean. A separate pipe is used from the base of the tank to a deck fitting to suck the poop out of the tank. A breather tube is added to allow air in and out. This system uses three valves. We are going to plumb ours the same way as it was on our catamaran. One pipe takes the poop to the holding tank. A second pipe comes out of the bottom of the tank to the seacock. A T connector is placed in this pipe and goes to the deck fitting for the sucking out. Simple and effective. So this is the uh, pipe, the uh, tank, for the toilet. So this one here is an inch and a half, and this is where the toilet is going to come into the tank. So it'll come out of the toilet, through the macerator pump, and into here. And then, on the bottom, there's another hole. And uh, this is where the fluid will either go out to sea, or there'll be a T piece in here, and you'll be able to suck it out. So it's really, this isn't, this isn't the normal way of doing it actually, because you normally have a Y valve. But the advantage of this is that if you fill your tank up and then you go out to sea, you can empty your tank. Whereby if you have a Y valve, you've got it in your tank, you can't get it out of your tank. So, unless you have it sucked out. So that's why we're doing it this way. So I'm going to put this on. This is. Uh, the breather for the uh, tank so that when you're sucking all the contents out the air can get in here. I'm just uh, heating up this pipe because it's just slightly small on here or a bit of a tight fit and uh, that means I'll be able to stretch it. And... There we go. I do like to get all the Jubilee clips in a position whereby you can get at them. Okay. So this is the pipe coming from the toilet. So the ploppings will come up here and go into here before going out through the bottom. I'll just put that uh, clamp on there. Now this end has to have an adapter on it, which I have to get for uh, because it's uh, too big. But uh, that's okay, I'll get it tomorrow on Amazon. So this is the holding tank I've been putting in. And uh, basically there's a skin fitting here through, th through the deck fitting, uh, which comes down to a pipe in the T section here. I'm just about to fit this L bracket. And this is gonna go on the bottom of the tank and link into this pipe. Now, this end here will go down to a seacock. So this means that you can uh, control whether you are um, using the tank or not uh, by using the seacock. So when you're on the river, you have the seacock closed uh, and you fill the tank up and then well, you can suck it all out when you go to a sucking out station. Uh, but if you're out on the estuary or out at sea, you could open the seacock and the soil will just go straight through and out.